Yeah, Jeff, this is a quick lesson on how to type in Navajo. Okay, so there are three different ways that you can actually type out Navajo. And they're not the only ways, but they're three of the most common. So you can download for Microsoft applications, for Windows, and you can just download a language for Mac. So the first way that I learned how to type in Navajo is through this Navajo font. The website is listed there, and I'll put it in the description as well. But essentially, you'll be going to this website, and you'll see the Times New Roman Navajo option, and then you'll choose PC. Um, this one tends to work for PC. Not sure how it does with Mac, because I don't use Mac. But I've heard that um, there might be some difficulty getting it to work with Mac, although with PC it should be fine. So once you have that, you just put the font in your font folder, and then you should be able to access it through Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, and it would show up as Times New Roman Navajo. And the installation instructions are on the website as well. One interesting thing is that every number on your keyboard will be associated with a letter and it's diacritic. So it's going to be very specific which output each number produces. It also extends to the hyphen, the equal sign, the brackets, and the curly brackets as well. You can get the uppercase by sh pressing shift. All right, the second way is to use Language Geek Navajo keyboard. And you'll find a list of languages, a lot of uh, native languages. Uh, you want to go to the Diné section, and then you'll go down to Dinépezad, which is listed here um, as Dinépezad Navajo. And then you'll choose Windows. You'll basically be installing the keyboard. And then once you have that all sorted out, you'll see the option down in the bottom right part of your screen, where it says ing for English. You'll click on that, and then you'll see a list of languages. Um, and it's still listed as ing for English, but it does have Dinépezad Navajo there. And again, they have other languages through Language Geek, so I also have Tana Atham on there as well. And a quick shortcut as well is pressing the Windows plus spacebar keys, and then that will just get you to the next one below, and then restart from the beginning. Okay, so then the keyboard layout would look like this. You'll notice that the numbers actually are not what give us the diacritics of the letters. It's these little circles that you can see. Basically, you'll press on these keys to apply a diacritic or combination of diacritics to the letter before it. Um, you can press any vowel and then the diacritic as well after that. One advantage to this is that you can place a diacritic on a consonant and oftentimes the letter N gets the high tone in certain words. So that's one advantage. And the last way that I will talk about is by using a Mac Navajo keyboard. And this is something that you can find in if you're using an iPad or an iPhone. You'll find it in general uh, keyboard. You'll just press keyboards here. And then you'll find Navajo. If you scroll through, you'll find the Navajo option. And you just click it. And then you add it to your languages. Basically, when you're typing out, you can click on the little globes, and then you'll see Dinépezad there, or Navajo. And you'll see that it uh, is laid out similarly to what we've seen with the Language Geek keyboard. We've got a way to add on diacritics for high tone and nasal hook. And it will give us something, as you can see at the top here. It looks fine, it looks sufficient for what we need. People will understand the diacritics easily. But um, one issue is that if we compare with the Navajo font, the Now some pros and cons of each one. Um, basically for the Navajo font that we saw, the pros are that the text will stay as intended in Microsoft applications like PowerPoint and Word, and then you can convert it to PDF and it'll be fine. Um, cons, 
it can be a hassle to change from Times New Roman and Times New Roman Navajo when you need to type out numbers, hyphens, slashes, etc. in your document. And it requires some memorization of what numbers represent what sound. But once you have those down, it's pretty easy. The Language Geek Navajo Keyboard, some pros. So there's less memorization required as you only need to really know the high tone, nasal, and combination diacritics. You can type the vowel and then type the diacritic, basically. So the cons are that the diacritics may shift after some time working on your document in PowerPoint. When you return to a slide, this tends to happen. Diacritics can be unintentionally stacked or applied to nothing, which may meddle with your document. So you might unintentionally stack high tones. Um, maybe if you do a combination high diacritic and then you do the high tone, you'll have two high tones on one letter, if that makes sense. So that can happen. Or else you might have pressed it and then um, you'll be applying that diacritic to some empty space. The Mac Navajo keyboard is pretty accessible and it's easy to install. The cons are just small imperfections of diacritic, but I think it's in general, it, it works for what it needs to do. And then pros and cons continued. We can even just see examples comparing the Navajo font with the Language Geek Navajo keyboard. So an example here, we have she'e, shinahai, and um, this is just an example sentence. If you're trying to say, I am 20 years old, you're trying to write 20 here, it comes out as letters with their diacritic. You have to go to Times New Roman font uh, and then write out 20 and then go back to the Times New Roman Navajo font. Now, when we look at the Language Geek Navajo keyboard, you can see Nadan Shi Bishlekun, which is he, she, it, maybe likes corn. And you can just see how the diacritics are getting messed up on this word. And so when we compare that with the Navajo font, I wrote it down here as well. Nadan Shi Bishlekun. It looks much nicer actually here. Um, it looks like the high tone has actually replaced the dot on the eyes, whereas here we still have the dots and we've got the high tones basically situated just beside the dot. And then we can see finally She Nadin Shinahai, which also gives us some meddling with the the diacritic high tone. So that was a quick rundown on how to type in Navajo. You can download any of those fonts and see what works for you. Yeah.